We're going to scale up production. And I think we've demonstrated a level of innovation that is extremely rare. I mean, certainly by far the most innovative company in the car industry. But the truth is, it is very difficult to make us immediately accept an electric truck like the Tesla Semi, when diesel trucks may be noisy, dirty, and old. But they have carried thousands of families, food, and goods across America for a century. More than 70% of truck drivers surveyed have never wanted a Tesla truck. They have never desired a giant touchscreen, overnight charging, or a battery heavier than the cargo itself. For those who drive on the road, the fear is not about specifications, but about survival. But now, with the Tesla Gen 2 announced for release in October and set for mass production at 50,000 units per year in two design versions, with a projected price of $170,000 for the base model, offering a 500-mile range and charging up to 80% in just 30 minutes, Drivers have begun to see this truck in a completely different light. But what shocked us even more is that over 300 Tesla semis currently operating as prototype tests report consuming less than 1.55 kilowatt hour per mile for the Gen 1 versions, while the improved Gen 2 is estimated at just 1.17 kilowatt hour per mile. Hard to believe, isn't it? So why $170,000 Tesla Semi Gen 2 can overpower the trucking industry? Was the Tesla Semi Gen 2 designed to support drivers or to wipe them out? And what will happen to the billions of dollars invested in diesel infrastructure, fuel, and engine maintenance? Welcome to Tesla Car World. Stay with me. In just one minute, you'll see never-before-seen footage of the Tesla Semi Gen 2 design. And join over 258,386 Tesla fans who get updates here before the media does. Subscribe today. For truck drivers who have spent decades mastering diesel rigs, the rise of the Tesla Semi Gen 2 doesn't look like progress. It feels more like a threat. Elon Musk claims this new machine will cut costs, improve safety, and even make long hauls easier with 100% FSD. But for drivers, the fear is real. If a computer and a giant battery can do the job, then where is their place in this industry? Recently, Elon Musk and Tesla officially confirmed that the Tesla Semi will launch in October and move into mass production next year. It was surprising when Elon Musk confirmed the number Tesla aims to roll out, a target of 50,000 units. After the second quarter 2025 earnings call ended, the major news Tesla made clear was that they now have enough 4680 cells for all their vehicles and are accelerating progress with the Tesla Semi. Since its debut, the number of Tesla semi-trucks has only hovered around 100 units launched in 2022, and by the end of 2024, the total stood at just about 300 units, including both Generation 1 and Generation 2. And since then, no additional semi-trucks have been delivered. Only a small number have been kept at the factory for internal use and development. The listed price of $170,000 for the semi is not an industry estimate, but the official release per queue for the current selling price is much higher, at over $250,000, which was confirmed last year. Elon Musk may want to keep the pricing information secret until the right moment to optimize marketing impact. Keeping the price under wraps not only builds anticipation and interest from customers, investors, and commercial fleets, but also ensures the Tesla Semi is not overlooked, even after it has gone out of production. More importantly, manufacturers like Volvo, Nikola, Peterbilt, and Freightliner are heavily investing to launch electric trucks even newer than the Tesla Semi. At this moment, Musk's decision to keep the price of the Tesla Semi a secret makes a lot of sense, as it limits the ability of competitors to introduce more competitive pricing. A clear example illustrates the consequence of revealing the price, if Tesla were to announce the Semi's price at $300,000, competitors like Freightliner or Nikola could easily adjust their strategies, either lowering prices or optimizing production efficiency, putting competitive pressure on Tesla and eroding its advantage. For instance, the Freightliner E-Cascadia and Nikola Trey could both be reduced from $300,000 down to $250,000. Moreover, Revealing the price could also pose a challenge for Tesla in maintaining high stock profitability. 
the Semi has always been viewed as a driver of stock growth following the early setbacks of the Model 3. The truth is, Tesla's stock would almost certainly drop if the Semi's pricing information fails to satisfy the majority. Therefore, keeping the price a secret may be a crucial strategy to help Tesla maintain its leading position in the heavy-duty electric truck market. Recently, in close-up videos from some ex-users, a few details were spotted that we believe relate to the production progress of the Tesla Semi. In several quick videos and snapshots, at least 10 electric trucks appeared in the Nevada factory parking lot, each showing different characteristics. Among them, there are six long-range versions, also known as 500 mile, and four standard range versions with 300 miles. At a quick glance, it can be difficult to tell the versions apart, but if you pay attention to the sun visor, their size compared to each other, you can identify them. However, what caught our attention more was an important detail. At least two of the trucks had dark colored sun visors, a feature never seen before. These subtle changes make us wonder, could this really be the sleeper cab version that Priestley mentioned? Actually, we will do a sleeper cab where we can send drivers out for multiple days at a time as we expand the charging network. Normally, the white front cab is smaller on the standard range version and larger on the long range version. However, in some cases, the front appears black, raising suspicions that Tesla may be in the process of expanding the cabin for the sleeper cab version. It would be hard to believe if no one mentioned refreshing the electric truck lineup. Dan Priestley has confirmed that they will soon build a version of the electric truck that allows drivers to deliver goods for several days once they overcome challenges related to the mega charger. We often get questions like, why doesn't Tesla build these mega chargers before the trucks since the trucks can't operate without charging? Answering this is actually quite difficult because aside from insiders at Tesla, everything we see from the outside is only speculation. Beyond the installation cost of a mega charger, which can reach up to $6 million. What's better known is that the infrastructure challenge is tied to the scale of Tesla's electric truck orders. On average, Tesla can generate nearly $30 billion a year by allowing other EV makers worldwide to charge on its supercharger network, so the $6 million figure for a megacharger can easily be addressed. However, building megacharger stations requires approval from local governments and cooperation with utility companies. This process can be very time-consuming and labor-intensive and may even require prioritization of installation systems. A typical example is PepsiCo, a company that has spent nearly two years developing megacharger infrastructure at its Sacramento facility, with about four stations. At the same time, they have committed to meeting greenhouse gas reduction goals and reducing dependence on the power grid. This ensures they can meet the growing demand for electricity and battery charging while paving the way for greater adoption of electric vehicles and renewable energy in the future. Back to the interesting details about electric trucks. In Tesla's case, if they are indeed developing a cabin for a new variant that includes a sleeper bed or other amenities, redesigning and reconfiguring the cabin is something the manufacturer can absolutely do. This could mean moving the driver's seat to the left instead of in the center streamlining the control area by removing dual screens and other functions to focus on a more spacious layout. Of course, engineers would extend the cabin backward to distribute space more effectively than the current design. Beyond these more predictable aspects, there are still many unanswered questions. For example, how Tesla will address the weight issue after adding a sleeper, and whether the battery range will decrease with the new version. The price could even rise to $400,000 or $500,000. All of this is difficult to predict, since even for the current day cab lineup, the information we have remains very limited. If you were Elon Musk, what's the first thing the Tesla Semi would fix? Leave a comment below. Thanks. Recently, multiple prototypes of the updated Tesla Semi have been spotted across different states in the U.S. Although they all appear to be part of the same new generation, a closer look reveals several noticeable design tweaks compared to the original version. One of the most significant upgrades is the addition of a sleeper cab, something long-haul drivers have been waiting for. The side windows have been enlarged to cover nearly 70% of the area behind the driver's seat, clearly indicating that the space has been reconfigured into a proper resting area. On top of the sleeper section, a new black module has been added where there was once nothing, further confirming the presence of the redesigned sleeping compartment. The refreshed Semi also comes with a larger windshield and a Cybertruck-style LED light bar, giving the truck a sleeker, more modern look. 
Tesla appears to be preparing multiple configurations as well, including a high roof version designed to improve airflow over standard shipping containers and a low roof option aimed at reducing drag when hauling smaller loads. Another clear change can be seen in the cab roof design, which has been shortened by nearly 50% compared to earlier official renderings. At the same time, the overall cab height has been lowered, likely to strike the right balance between interior practicality and aerodynamic efficiency. Tesla has also integrated an electrical connector box into the cab's side panel, a section that was previously left unused. This not only makes better use of available space but also gives the truck a cleaner, more refined appearance. Still, analysts caution it may be too early to get overly excited. With Tesla's current resource constraints, only a limited number of these upgraded units may hit the road at first. The most critical improvements are expected to center on next-generation battery technology, streamlined production processes, and core systems that will eventually enable full self-driving capability. Why does the Tesla Semi Gen 2 achieve an efficiency of 1.17 kilowatt hour per mile? In theory, the Tesla Semi Gen 2 seems like an unstoppable truck. Longer range, lower costs, cleaner energy. But early testers have said the Semi is still afraid of the cold. The battery drains faster in freezing weather, and charging stations can leave drivers stranded for hours. Imagine being stuck in a snowstorm with no diesel to burn, no engine heat, and no way out. For drivers, this isn't just about switching trucks. It's about risking their lives, their safety, and the families waiting for them at home. Currently, the latest data from Tesla shows that the next-generation Semi, often referred to as Semi Gen 2, has achieved an impressive energy consumption level of just 1.17 kilowatt hour per mile, a remarkable improvement compared to the originally announced 1.7 kilowatt hour per mile. This significant progress is the result of continuous technological upgrades in Tesla's drivetrain and battery systems. In the United States, the average electricity price has risen to about $0.175 per kilowatt hour, which means the semi gen Tsunu D and Da 2. Now, costs only about 20 cents per mile to operate based on its consumption of 1.17 kilowatt hours per mile. Diesel trucks, on the other hand, continue to incur higher costs, with retail diesel prices averaging $3.75 per gallon and fuel efficiency around 6 miles per gallon, leading to an expense of approximately 63 cents per mile. This cost disparity highlights why electric trucking is becoming far more compelling in the U.S. and Europe alike. In Europe, Charging prices at superchargers remain between 0.47 euros during off-peak hours and 0.54 euros at peak times. And while megacharger rates are expected to be similar, truck drivers still plan their routes carefully to avoid higher-cost charging periods. When compared to diesel trucks, which currently consume fuel at an average cost of around 46 euro cents per kilometer, equivalent to about 50 cents per kilometer, the economic advantage of the semi becomes increasingly evident. Tesla has achieved this leap in efficiency through several integrated innovations. The Semi Gen 2 is equipped with next-generation drive units derived from the Plaid platform, paired with silicon carbide inverters that sharply reduce energy conversion losses. The battery pack has been redesigned with 4680 high nickel cells, which offer improved energy density and reduced weight per kilowatt hour, directly lowering overall consumption. Aerodynamics have also been refined, particularly at the truck-to-trailer interface, delivering a drag coefficient far below conventional Class 8 trucks. Alongside this, Tesla has scaled up its highly efficient heat pump system to regulate the battery and drivetrain under all weather conditions, ensuring peak efficiency across diverse climates. Finally, a combination of structural battery integration, new alloy components, and Optimized cabin layout contributes to meaningful weight savings. Altogether, these advancements explain how Tesla succeeded in reducing consumption from 1.7 to 1.17 kilowatt hour per mile, a nearly 30% efficiency improvement. One of its most striking capabilities is range. The Semi can travel up to 800 miles on a single charge when unloaded. Over its lifetime, it can save as much as 1 million gallons of diesel fuel equal to around $3.5 million in operating costs. This kind of advantage is exactly why so many logistics companies are eager to adopt the Semi into their fleets. So far, 
Tesla has delivered the semi to at least seven major transportation companies, including PepsiCo, DHL, Martin Brower, Costco, Saya, Walmart, and Wadi V. Most recently, ABF Freight, a division of ArcBest, completed its own testing program with impressive results. According to their report, the semi achieved an energy efficiency of 1.17 kilowatt hour per mile, far better than the roughly 1.7 kilowatt hour per mile seen in earlier tests by other operators. Beyond its energy efficiency, the semi has also proven its strength in real-world conditions. ABF Freight noted that the truck performed reliably across a variety of routes, including the grueling 7,200-meter climb through Donner Pass. Its performance was on par with diesel trucks, while driver. Feedback highlighted significant advantages such as comfort, safety, and ease of use. Features like the centrally positioned driver's seat, wide visibility, and intuitive controls all contributed to a superior driving experience. Acceleration is another area where Musk has repeatedly emphasized the semi's capabilities. He points out that even the best diesel trucks can only reach about 45 miles per hour on a 5% grade, while the Tesla Semi can hold 65 miles per hour under the same conditions, even with a full load. This demonstrates that the Class 8 electric truck is more than capable of handling the toughest routes. The Semi is not just a solution for the U.S. market, but a global platform with the potential to expand into regions such as Europe. With rising demand for freight transportation and the urgent need to cut emissions in logistics, the Tesla Semi represents both an economically sound and environmentally sustainable solution for the industry worldwide. So with billions already invested in diesel infrastructure, fuel stations, and engine maintenance, should the U.S. double down on electric trucks like the Semi or keep diesel as the backbone of America's freight system? Please share your opinion in the comment section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next breaking Tesla update. It's coming in just two days. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.